Song number four, Steal You Away. Another great track. Not as good as Gunfight in my opinion, but still pretty damn awesome. Once again, the reason I like this song is because it's so different than anything you'd expect from Dolores O'Rourdon or Andy Rourke, so it's very interesting to hear. You can probably make the fair assumption that Dolores is writing these lyrics, especially when they whip out stuff like... I don't know, just the moment heaven is mentioned, I get the feeling that's Dolores, because I mean, she loves her religion. I think I've already mentioned that this album has great lyricism, and this song is no exception. One of the reasons Dolores is my favorite singer is because she likes to experiment with her voice. You'll notice in any kind of music she does, she always likes to make some sound or sing a certain note that makes the song stand out, even if it's weird or funny even. This song has a catchy beat, great lyrics, and an overall mystical sound, so that's a good song in my book. And I love how it just leads into the next song. See your low fashion and raise you high fashion. <laughs> oh yeah, can we just hear that lead in again? And again. Now let's hear High Fashion follow it. Don't worry, Brian. Those goosebumps will go away in about 20 minutes. This is my favorite song off the whole album, and it's arguably the best, really. It just has such a great sound, and it's so epic, dude. It hits you right off the bat with that guitar, and Dolores' vocals are so beautiful and even comforting at times. They even remixed Dolores' vocals. How cool is that? The song has parts where it's epic. The song has parts where it's sexy. The song has parts where it's beautiful. It's an overall perfect song. It fuels the mind creatively and puts imagery in your head like a good song should. So much so that you can almost imagine what a music video for this would look like. Attention D.A.R.K. Please hire me to make a music video. They never return my emails. Oh, anyway, uh, next song. My dreams are crushed! Whoa, song number six coming at you. This one is Watch Out. The song starts out with a simple yet sick bass line and a great opening lyric that causes intrigue.
dark in your heart. It's a general rule in poetry that your first and last line should be really good. For this song, the first lyric really does suck you in and leave you wanting to listen to the rest. We've lost the war, but less is more. I will admit that the chorus to this song is kind of cheesy, but I kind of like it. It's catchy. Watch out, I'm bleeding. Watch out, I'm bleeding. This song reminds me more of something the Smiths would do. I mean, can't you just see Morrissey dancing around to this? This time, I'm leaving. Love him or hate him, this guy's fucking hilarious. And on a quick side note, listen to that fucking bass. Um, okay, Morrissey, you can stop now. <laughs>